Islamabad, Pakistan recently conducted a successful training launch of its Gari medium range ballistic missile, marking a significant event for its military. The Inter Services Public Relations Pakistan stated that the test aimed to evaluate the operational and technical readiness of the Army Strategic Forces Command ASFC, which oversees Pakistan's land based ballistic and cruise missiles, some of which have the potential to carry nuclear warheads, the Gari missile. Despite its limitations, has retained its importance in Pakistan's military strategy. Although first tested in 1998, experts believe that it continues to serve a purpose. Mansour Ahmed, an authority on Pakistan's nuclear program currently affiliated with the Australian National University, points out that the Gari missile system has seen extensive testing and remains a valuable asset. Appears to be the most widely tested missile system in the Pakistani arsenal, Ahmed noted. He emphasizes that, while this recent test was primarily a training exercise, it also validates enhanced technical and performance parameters, making it a cost-effective means to experiment with new re-entry vehicle technologies. However, the Gari missile faces challenges in terms of battlefield survivability. It necessitates movement with a convoy of support vehicles, primarily to provide fuel and prepare it for launch. This grouping of platforms makes it vulnerable to detection, limiting its practicality in modern warfare. Pakistan has recognized the shortcomings of the Gari and has replaced it with the more advanced and survivable Shaheen series of solid fuel ballistic missiles. These advancements ensure a higher level of readiness and adaptability in contemporary military scenarios. Interestingly, the Gari missile, being the only liquid-fueled ballistic missile in Pakistan's strategic forces, offers insights into liquid-fueled technology. This experience could potentially be harnessed for satellite launch vehicle development. If Pakistan chooses to venture down that path, the Gari missile is fueled by TM-185, a combination of gasoline and primarily kerosene, along with fuming nitric acid, kerosene. Although less common today, has been utilized for space rocket applications. However, fueling nitric acid is an unconventional choice, as high test peroxide is typically paired with kerosene for higher specific impulse. This decision raises questions about Pakistan's strategic objectives and long-term ambitions in space exploration. In summary, the recent Gari missile test serves as a reminder of Pakistan's commitment to maintaining a diversified and capable missile arsenal. While the Gari system may have limitations, its historical significance and potential technological applications cannot be ignored. As Pakistan shifts its focus to the more advanced Shaheen series, questions linger about the future of the Gari and its role in the nation's strategic plan.